The spring has arrived, and after this cold and dark winter, finally we can have some warm temperature coming on our way. In fact, it's so warm that I can start painting the outside and do the things that I wanted to do for so long. Hi fellas, and welcome you all back on my boat work. As you notice already, I don't have any boats around me. I'm the only one left here, at least in this corner. We still have some few boats around. I can say the, this is the best moment. Uh, when the spring comes and the trees open the leaves and the birds are singing and ah, it's really awesome feeling. Um, it's gonna be quite much fast motion and I think you're gonna like it. So let's jump. I already showed that. Mix polyester with the hardener. Hardener you need only 1-2% to 2 from the whole amount that you want to mix. And then when this is mixed and ready, you place this fiber toque, which looks like, which looks like this. And eventually you get the fairing compound, which I use to fill up the cracks below the water line. I also use this for all the other things that I'm going to use uh, where I need to use a fairing compound. So fellas, as you can see this side is almost done. It needs only two layers of Calcut and two layers of underwater paint. However, for this side is a little bit different story. I am done with placing up the fairing compound. As you can see that in a fast motion. And also I start sanding yesterday. So a little bit I send off. I ran out of the sanding paper or whatever you call it. And uh, yesterday, that's the reason why I couldn't send more. But now I have them and I can continue with uh, doing all the bottom sanding. Uh, then it's the only thing that will be left is just the painting job. Going back to the last episode. I was talking about the epoxy and and Calcut and polyester materials and uh, yeah I have a lot of comments about that that basically people suggest me to go with epoxy and uh, almost everyone that I know also like who knows about the boats they like yeah do the epoxy better I really don't see the reason to do the epoxy. And first of all, I start with the polyester based. And now switching to epoxy, yeah, I can do that, but no. It's gonna take so much more time for me. It's so much easier to work with, uh, for my opinion, it's so much easier to work with po polyester. You just place gel cut and paint and that's it, and you're done. With uh, Epoxy, you have to place so many layers in the beginning 
and those layers need to dry uh, I guess so it might take way much more time. Today is supposed to rain and I don't know how far I can get with some of the jobs. If you didn't notice yet in the fast motion I paint this area white. First layer of primer. Looks terrible honestly. Wanted so it looks like from factory. When you go back to the previous like really beginning of the videos uh, uh, first five episodes that I had then you can see that there I use like different techniques and uh, I'm, at the end I just stick to the spray painting because that was the best result yes you can manage with the brush but still brush leaves like you kind of apply a little bit more paint and then you apply a little bit less paint and then it's dropping and then it's it's a lot of problems I found out since I'm quite uh, good in uh, spray painting I've been doing that before a lot of times and also to the cars I was painting cars so I'm, I know how to work with the spray painting and I just know the results of spray painting uh, it's just at the end uh, you can't compare the spray painting a good spray painting versus a roller or brush that's like two different things you can't put them together the boat goes in the water of 7 of June, which means that roughly I have 20 days to finish the whole boat from bottom to top. Feels like it's it's almost like it's quite much, but the thing is that the weather and everything is just so much depends of weather and also how much time I can place on my boat since I work fully. Um, so, what's the plan for today? So, I have... I explain you, so maybe you want to explain. Yeah, well, basically we're... we are going to uh, remove all the uh, loose equipment around the boat, like bring it inside, because it's... it's raining quite a lot in Sweden yeah. now, and the next week's gonna be heavy rain all day. Uh, but the plan is to remove the tent. Yep. Uh, we remove the tent yeah. and uh, that's basically the huge plan for today mm, and the reason why we are actually removing the tent you might ask uh, is this because i'm gonna paint and the boat where it, the boat is right now i need to relocate the boat because i have bushes and trees in this side and the sun is never getting in this side which means that if I'm gonna paint that that side gonna dry quicker and this is gonna be slower mm -hmm. and also the trees bringing like a lot of stuff so, st so it's not good it's gonna stick to the paint okay. just finger crossed it's gonna be good weather yeah, yeah, fuck <laughs> oh my gosh but, okay, so but I get to help today I'm so happy yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's do it let's do it let's do it at least it's not that dust paint scraping shit <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it's still left something, if you want. <laughs> uh, the, the problem is, when I did that, I had white shoes. They were white in the beginning, but then it turned out to be red. I can imagine that. <laughs> but uh, it was that's, kind of cheap shoes. So. That's a bad shoes. Take mm. white shoes when you're scraping off the bottom paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, did I say what I'm going to do? So You didn't know. No. No, you didn't know, right? Uh, did I said that we're gonna scrape the bottom paint? Yeah, no, you didn't. No? Oh, good, I'm smart. <laughs> if I would say, then he would probably come anyway, but... <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go to the fast motion. We are done 
of taking down the house that was built around the boat. And uh, it took some while and a little bit of effort, but we are done. Yeah, it was quite, it went quite smooth. Yeah. It was uh, not terrible. Not good, not terrible. <laughs> not good, not terrible, but yeah. however, it's, uh, it's a really nice feeling right now when it's like, where I remove it, I can see like the end of mm. this all. Yeah. yeah, it's another perspective when I, when you, when you sit here and you, you all of a sudden see the sky and the trees and feel a lot more positive, right? Yeah, fuck, it's awesome. Mm. And I the mean, boat looks good from the outside now as well. Yeah, and uh, people just walking past and say like, wow, nice boat. <laughs> mm. And uh, of course that gives you a little more energy yeah. to do the job. And uh, like I mentioned before, you came, I, I, uh, I'm gonna paint everything outside. That's still left, but I have roughly like three half weeks to do that. And hopefully the weather will be better because the next week is supposed to rain whole week. So no big jobs on outside. Still I have a head to work with. Toilet. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's uh, that could be done in a week. Then I at least we have mm -hmm. place to shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's important. That's, that's pretty important. Yeah. Otherwise you can do that. Uh, <laughs> Just, you know, put your ass uh, somewhere in the back and just make a line behind. <laughs> make a trail. Trail. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the paint and the move, the move the boat as well, right? To, uh... Yeah, and uh, we almost get uh, move the boat today, but uh, I couldn't. I couldn't reach the, the one that is in charge of here. He's quite busy or something, I don't know. But maybe he will call me back and because there is a chance to do that today. But we'll see if that's gonna happen. Uh, and the reason is because right now where we are, it's quite in a shade and you want to have a paint. Right. And uh, it's, uh, the paint is, uh, what is it called? It's not drying it's out, drying and, it's just, and it's bushes, and it's all the fucking stuff falling on the paint. Mm. And uh, I'm in a shadow all the time. Only in the morning I have a sun coming from that direction, and, and here it's just shadow all the time. So I remember last year when I start, when I paint the sides, it was hard. Because one side was dry, other side was quite wet, and it, all the things just stick, stuck on, on the paint flies and stuff and yeah, yeah. so yeah but yeah i'm happy so uh right guys i think that's it for this week's episode i hope you to see you in the next one and uh have a great e evening or day whatever you have right now and see you bye bye, -bye. <laughs>